I read in Global Sapiens Net. When people heard I was visiting Belfast, I got a lot of be careful and precautions, so even before I arrived in the city, I was thinking the worst. It turns out to be a lovely trip. I only wish I had more time there. There are not many obvious signs of tension among the people in the city center, since it has gotten popular to move there from the surrounding suburbs. So people from both sides of the conflict live together. When I was there, it was the anniversary of the death of a hunger striker, Bobby Sands. So there were some university students outside City Hall handing out flyers to the public. That was the only sign, while I was there, that there is still tension between groups. I read in Global Sapiens Net. In the year 1997, Gdańsk celebrated his thousandth anniversary. Gdańsk is a beautiful town, full of monuments and historical places. Gdańsk has almost half a million inhabitants and is dynamically growing. I still remember Gdańsk from the 50s, full of post-war ruins. During the next decades, it was rebuilt and restored with great reverence on my eyes. Gdańsk was also the cradle of solidarity movements. It is only a 10-minute walk from the old town to the Solidarity's monuments at the gate of former Lenin shipyards. Philip told me, there's an interesting psychological reason that above all shipwrecks, the Titanic seems to me to be the most famous shipwreck of all. I think there has to be a reason for that. The city has decided that this heritage is going to provide a title for the future, and I think it's typical of the city to be using heritage models to try to talk about the future. It's the disaster that gets left out of the conversation because what gets celebrated is the pride, the craftsmanship, the ability of the city to produce a world-class vessel. In one reading, the Titanic is one of the fulcrums of the peak of power to symbolic disaster. Rayu told me, Tallinn has been a battleground of different groups since Viking time. It has a very sophisticated history. In every school was this kind of pioneer room, and for example, we had our own veterans from St. Petersburg. It was part of education, and when you entered a pioneer room of your school, you had to greet like a soldier. Stanisław told me, in communist times, many artists were following the mentality of the system and fulfilling its requirements. There was little or almost no independent creative activity. Today, artists begin to acknowledge the existence of free markets, of independence. The artists have begun to see and realize the role of finances in the creative process. Maria told me, I think in the overall scale in Belfast itself, it is becoming more of a European city, I suppose. In the news last year, there were a lot of riots in certain parts of Belfast, but I think it's more about drug lords and people fighting with their own sections, rather than the two sides fighting each other.
if you know what I mean. You hear a lot more about drugs being involved than it being about the political situation. I was glad to come here, because it only takes me two hours to get home. It was a good time to come up here and it's a very friendly place, I find. I'm from a rural area, I've only graduated a year ago, I'm pretty early on, but so far so good. I enjoy being an artist in Belfast. Rayu told me, if your father was director of a factory, then you would be more encouraged to tell the truth. If your father was maybe a usual worker or shipman, you would not tell everything at school. In a way, this is even after the fall of communism, still working. Every time we start to talk, this fear is still there. Philip told me, in the school I attended, there would have been no one articulating a Republican viewpoint, just no room to find your own position on it, and if you had a position on it, it was very private because public positions were very prescribed. In the culture I was brought up in, there wasn't room to say, actually, I don't think that's how it is, or I think there's other things at stake. I kind of think I always would have been uncomfortable with a unionist version of the British state in Ireland, but I neither had the networks, the confidence or the ability to explore a republican position. Mike told me, I want you to go to Pottinger's entry. It happened three years ago. Two girls had been approached in Pottinger's entry and one was stabbed and killed. It just sticks in my memory. I read in Global Sapiens Net. What I was looking most forward to seeing were the troubled spots in and around Schenkel Road and Falls Road. Throughout these areas you will see walls higher than double-decker buses and lots of fences, many with barbed wire, in order to separate the two groups. There are even still bullet holes in buildings that have not yet been fixed from the violence. The other aspect of these areas that brings many tourists are the murals. Philip told me, I think the thing about murals is they are big, public, figurative and graphic and often the message they are delivering is a pretty simple one. If it's a celebration of military might, that's a pretty easy thing to image. A number of them in the early days were quite naively painted. The message was usually so uncompromising that it would carry slightly unusual figuration. I think with tourism and the news when they put a camera on those things, slightly unusual figuration starts to look off message, starts to look a bit bad or bonkers or badly carried out. I don't know, I'm not saying this was a conscious thing, but as there was a sophistication on the nationalist side that this civil conflict was at least being fought in the media as well as on the streets. Painting these things is a way the camera would love. Rayu told me, I believe most of the younger generation who were born in the New Republic time of Estonia, they don't think of the past, they have just this success story of this new state. I believe we cannot change our past, that is why we focus on practical future and the advantages of economy and culture and so on.